My name is James Williams Jr. This is a comfort habit number two. This video straight up is not for children. It's for the grown-ups that need to grow up. And by that, I mean almost every single one of us in the United States needs to grow up. We need to grow up about how our leader of the free world is treating the presidential powers that he have about trying to uh, quit or appeal or whatever the hell it is he's trying to do to get off or whatever the hell it is he's done, assuming that he's above the law, which by all rights in the United States, no one is supposed to be above the law, but we kind of find out that in some cases that shit is not 100% true. Some people are above the law, some people are out of reach by the law, but no one is above the reach of God's law, and what go around comes around. The title of this video is called Grow Up which we all need to do. I'm going to touch on some things that is a serious subject matter. These serious subject matters are things that children probably should not be listening to. So as we know, I said something about this earlier, about the guy who killed um, the four people. I found out that it was in Scottsdale, Arizona. I don't have any personal friends or anybody there that I know of. And if I do know you, how you doing? First and foremost, let's, let's address that before we get anywhere near anything political. Let's address that because I've had this conversation with y'all before. If you truly love somebody, then you would never bring harm to them in any way, shape, or form intentionally. You know, and you wouldn't kill their friends in a cold-hearted way of, I'm going to seek revenge because if I can't have you, no one can have you. I've lost two cousins on both sides. With this shit and I've lost some friends for the same bullshit reason about men not being able to handle the words no. I've lost my mind on that too but I have not brought harm to the person that I love. You know, I keep my hands to myself and that's the thing that we do. And if you really love somebody, you need to learn how to set them free. Now that saying of if you set them free and they return is meant to be, don't believe that shit. Don't believe any fairy tales, because as Adam Levine said in his song, fairy tales are full of shit, period. Some fairy tales do come true, and for most of us, again, fairy tales are full of shit. Now, you know, I don't want to really go into the Philadelphia Eagles and the president shit, but we need to grow up there too. We need to grow up on a lot of things in the world. And a lot of things we are not facing as adults. We are not looking as adults. And I know y'all see those damn lights. I'm sorry. That was not a very grown up thing for me to do. But I know they see those goddamn lights. Watch this. Those lights. Right there. Maybe if I step out of frame... If I brought it closer, yeah, those damn lights. Anyway, you can't see them now because the light's on. It's mostly for people outside to see that I'm actually recording a video. For those who just got to get a laugh off of that. That pisses me off when I put on those lights and I'm trying to do something serious and some asshat got to come by the door and start talking as loud as they possibly can with their outside voice instead of their inside voice. We need to grow up on some things in this world. As adults, we are supposed to be the heart and soul of setting an example. So that the next generation, if I may be so blunt, don't fuck it up for the generations to come. If we are ever going to make it in society, first thing we got to do is get rid of racism. No, we got to at least understand it to get rid of it. And no one wants to sit down and understand how stereotypes led to racism in the first place. Because that's too much like the right thing to do. We don't want to plan to have a meeting because we all think that we're all going to stink or smell like cheese or some shit that's going to lead to somebody hating you because of the color of your skin. Instead of hating you because of the content of who you actually are and not what you actually are genetically or gender biasly. I said it that way because there are a lot of people in the alternative lifestyle that are being hated on and stuff. I had this conversation with my uncle and you know I was telling him, you know, I'm not transgender but I ain't got a problem with them either. You know, I'm not gay, I ain't got a problem with them. 
whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever your life choose to be, we need to grow up on that and let people live their damn life. But we can't do that. Because we always have to have some battle to fight for some reason. Other than, you know, we can't just leave people the hell alone. That's a battle we should probably try to fight. Let's fight to leave everybody the hell alone. But this is how our society is. Because no one wants to take the time to sit down and see what we don't like about these people. And generally, it's just a stereotype. You know, some things may have some truth to it, some things do not. Because supposedly, people who were gay men were molested by other men and they became gay. I don't believe that for a New York minute, but I can't say it's not true because I've never been molested and I'm not gay. You understand where I'm going with that? They say the same thing about lesbians who were raped by men or boys as, as little girls and decided, well, you know, I'm safer with my own kind. Which, again, is not always true because I'm going to tell you, no matter who you are, no matter what your identity is, no matter what your gender is, and no matter how you choose to live, the cold hard truth is that you are more in danger from someone who's exactly like you, rather it be skin color or gender. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's up to you. Now, if you want to go into statistics, there have been many of black men who have raped white women and have gone to jail, but there have been many of white men who have raped black women and Asian women and Native American women who's never done a bit of time in jail, which is probably how my family line came into existence through slavery and other things, but since my family is mostly Native American and we do have white blood in us as well as black blood, it goes without saying. I told you this was not for children. But, you know, we don't want to grow up on these issues. We want to throw things under the rug. We want to give people holidays to brush things up instead of trying to solve problems. We want to evade the problem. And as long as we keep evading the problems and instead of approaching problems as grown people, but we should probably try to talk it out before we try to duke it out. I know that coming from a guy who likes to kick people in the face did not come out right, right? But truth be the truth. And sometimes violence don't solve everything. It may make us feel a little better for the moment, but then the consequences of that will always come back to bite us in the ass. I want to end this video with one phrase. Grow up. Grow up, America. Wake up, America. But more importantly, we need to grow up. We try to teach our children right from wrong. But how can you teach someone right from wrong if you're not doing right your damn self? So again, let's not be hypocrites. Let's grow up. Let's teach right from wrong. Let's do less preaching and more understanding. And maybe, just maybe, we might actually achieve something in the world today. I'm James Williams Jr. For Kung Fu Havoc number two, BCNU. I'm going to post this on Facebook. So if you're not on Facebook and you want to see it, here it is. And if you're on Facebook and you don't like it, hey, nobody's got a gun to your head making you watch my shit. Although if that would get me more fans, I would probably do it. No, I don't like guns. Be seeing ya.